guys, we got our uh, cultivator setting up here. We need to get in it and set it up. There's a couple more areas that uh, needs to be uh, plowed up here. I'll get it set up and uh, get a worker there to clean these up. Field's not quite done yet. Let's, uh, there we go. We'll get our worker going here. Sometimes I get confused in the names of these workers. I believe this is Sophia again. Yeah, that's who it is. She's been working with us on this field. Does a nice job. She, uh, but she's just like every other worker. When they get down to the end, they won't run over to the next spot. I mean, they'll just, they'll finish like what she'll do here. She'll finish this plot right here, this strip. As you can see on over, there's another strip that needs to be uh, cultivated up yet. And I'll have to reset her and get her going on this next strip over here. I think she'll go straight ahead. See, there's a break right here. I do believe she'll go straight ahead. Well, now she'll probably... Let's see if she comes down here and gets this other section. Doesn't look like it. See, here's what she's going to do. This There's a break in this area right here. And so she didn't go ahead and finish that. She's, uh, in fact, she's going to leave a spot there. And when this is all, when I get her all done, these main areas, see, I have to go back here and touch this up then. That's the issues that I have with workers. But they do give me a chance to do other things. Let's, uh, Let's just jump out and see what we got going with this other tractor over here. This is a, yeah. Uh, there you go. This is a plow. I'm just sitting here. Work we got done. I think we're pretty good with this other field. Let's, uh, let's just pull it up. And uh, right along the crib, boy, I can come right easy to get into that. Let's drive around here a little bit. Make sure this whole field. See, I got a loader on the front of this, too. I'm using double purpose. Now, see, right here. We gotta clean this up. See, the worker didn't finish this, so let's. Uh, Going down, it's, uh... Oh, here we go. Alright, now we got to uh... I was going to show you earlier. Let's show you how I can back this up. See, is it, if I want to back this up a little bit, as you can see, it'll plow backwards. So this is a good finishing plow. Do some custom plowing. And as the stripes are going a different way, that really doesn't that doesn't matter so much. It's just aesthetics is the way it looks. Now, you usually see these outside areas. They don't like this tree gets in the way of the worker. And the worker doesn't go all the way up to the end and so they leave this little area that hasn't been plowed and I have to come back through here manually do it myself I 
Let's get, let's see, I get a complete circle there. I got sidetracked. I was watching the hired worker over there with the uh, slurry tank. So I think the worker's done right now. Uh, uh, helper E, it says helper E is completed, so. So apparently the uh, worker has went over this whole field and it's been uh, fertilized with slurry. Looks like we got this strip here to do. We're going to go up. This whole one area right here didn't get plowed, so let's uh, make one trip up here and get this uh, plowed up here. We'll have this field almost done. We're going to do an inspection. We'll see what kind of fertilization it's had done. And that beautiful view, that nice creek alongside of this. Let's we'll lift it up, it'll go a little faster and finish up our. Uh, I know I finished up there at the top, but we're going to double check it. Yeah, we're going to turn back around. And it looks like we're pretty close to having this field has been all plowed. I know we've gotten some fertilization done on it. strip right here that needs to be tended to and then I think we'll uh, be able to do a nice little walk around well that tractor sure does need clean there we go um, this next field over here will need to get started. We're going to uh, just park the tractor down here at the end. And so we'll be ready to uh, get this one started. Actually, what we can do, since we're right here, Let's just hire a worker. There we go. While I'm off doing my inspections and stuff, I can get one step ahead. Well, you see, these workers come in handy. I uh, get a little complaining about them because not finishing, boy, without them. Now we have to pay them. Right, let's see, we've got this uh, worker. It's getting clouded enough. We're going to get some rain. Let's, uh, let's run up here and uh, let's do a walk around and see what kind of okay I should see 100% that's what I want to see yeah it looks like this field's pretty good shape we've got it 100% fertilized let's see what our slurry tank looks like here yeah, it's not as dirty as I thought it would be. We're going to take a little run right across the creek. Ah, there you go. Oh, man, I went underwater there. Fertilizer spreader. There we go. I'll just turn it on and... Uh, Let's do everything over to our, be to our right. We'll start and uh, fertilize everybody over here. We'll get this done and uh, look like our fills are getting pretty good shape. I know uh, this will be the third fill that will be ready to plant. So that will be our next day to start planting, uh, get our fields planted.
this field started here, we can uh, get some plowing going today. We're going to put this field into cotton. This is the uh, cultivator. We're cultivating instead of just plowing it, we're cultivating this field. It looks like it's done a really good job. We've got a uh, hired worker taking care of it for us. We'll throw down some fertilizer. We'll check out the uh, field, make sure it fertilizes properly before we begin to plant it. Beautiful day here in the Herbeck Valley Farms. Yeah, this is uh, one of the hard workers. We got him out there working on the farm there. He's uh, getting, the birds just get love to, they kick up bugs and stuff and the birds will just love get this field working on it. See, it's coming along. Our goal is to get these two main fields here uh, this is right down by the, the creek. I just my favorite area to, to work on the farm We want to get this all prepared and then maybe begin to do a little bit of planting. We're going to plant this all in cotton Cotton's a very profitable crop. So we uh, We are getting this field all set and ready to go. It's, it's coming along nicely Got two workers here working at it right now We want to walk down here and get it busy. There's our uh, sur slurry I and mean, we're doing some fertilizing here. Got another one of our hired workers there. Just spreading that slurry around there, fertilizing the tank. Love this uh, right along the creek here. Get it back around. There we go. You can see it up through the creek in that. One of my favorite areas on our whole farm. Here in Quebec Valley. Alright, this is the. Uh, we're gonna bring this plow. This is a, a lizard plow. Uh, this thing really works out good. Um, we're gonna bring this plow and bring it down. And we wanna do another. Got another field we wanna take care of. So we're going to bring this down here and uh, this is by our northern dairy farm up here. This is my main farm. This is where I live. This, this is the house. It's an old house. This, this whole area here, like it's a very old area over here in England. This is in the, uh, what I call it, the southeast part of England. Cough Castle, very old. Try to give you some more information on Cough Castle. Got some more cows up here. So our main income is milk. At this point, we're uh, we're doing very good with with milk. We get uh, several loads of milk we sell a day two different uh, dairy farms this one up north here is our uh, our main one then we have a nice one that we actually built we got the land and uh, we set down the all the buildings 
got it that we've got actually pigs and, and dairy on this one farm. Oh no, there you go. See, you gotta be careful. These egg on roads are so narrow up here in the uh, English countryside. They're just so narrow that boy, you get off just a little bit and you got yourself in trouble. You see what I did there? Oh man, oh man. Now, see, here's our dairy farm. Got a, a tank there full of seed. I've got two areas where I can get seed and fertilizer. I can come up here in the, the north farm and get it. And I'm down at my. I have another. I don't know if I call it a farm or not. It's an area where I keep equipment. I can work on the uh, ve uh, all the vehicles here. Keep everything in order. So. But yeah, I got two areas we can fill the cedars up with. Keep you from running all over the the whole day gone area so we can uh, get things filled up without just spending all day on the road you can... so we're heading down I hear the dogs barking they uh, tend to all the dogs get up in the morning and they go out and they announce that they're ready for the day and one dog will get the next dog gone here, right here is our other farm Let's just jump out of here real quick. Yeah, this uh, this is a blank uh, land when we bought this whole area. We bought the whole town, everything around here. We purchased everything. But uh, we sit down here and we put some cows. There's our cows. They tend to slop a little bit of their food there on the ground. Occasionally, you gotta uh, gotta clean that up. I don't. They don't want to produce well when you they got a dirty pen. So we like things nice and clean. This is our mixers. This is our food mixers. Green mixer. One's for the pigs and one's for the cows. They uh, will make a proper mixture and uh, feed them. And they're ha when they're happy, they make more milk. There's the girls out there in the field. They're kind of outstanding in their field. When I was younger, believe it or not, I lived in a town called Funk. Funk, Ohio. Look it up on the map. It sounds like it's fictional, but it's a real town. There's our milk truck. We have a, a place we can just sell our milk right here on the farm. There's a water tank. Now these are our pigs. Our pigs over there. It's uh, just shortly after noon here on the farm. All right, let's get back down here and get into our uh, our tractor with the plow. Get her down here and see if we can get that busy. That's the house we have here. This was always here when we. Uh, took over this land it was just an empty plot with a house on it nice and flat great place to uh, build a new farm there's the castle look at there right there in the background that's there's that's the cough uh, castle pretty cool you can see it all over the land all right let's jump back in here and uh, Head back down and let's get a fit plow busy. Again, this is a, the lizard plow. This is a nice little plow. Okay, here we go. Look, I'm going to get uh, all messed up here. The nice thing about the lizard plow, you can uh, plow and reverse. You can just back up and it plows when you back up as well as forward. So when you're out there plowing a field and uh, you need to... Uh, touch up an area that's like you missed an area you just go back and forth you don't have to turn around you can just clean it up we'll show you that later on we'll get in here and not when we need to clean up an area we'll show you how you can plow backwards it's kind of a, a neat feature of this lizard they make a lot of good implements we use a lot of lizards on the farm 
Yeah, the difference between a, a plow and a cultivator, the plow digs down in a cultivator just basically does the top. You can, uh, it, where a uh, plow gets right down in there, it'll dig, watch the teeth go down into the, uh, the ground. It, it actually digs right into the soil. We'll get our worker turned around. It's pretty cool, pretty cool how this this plow here spins around. That's part of the process. So that the reason it does that, now it spins around, it's not going to scrape anything else going down the road or somewhere we're not scraping up lands and stuff. It should spin right back around here in a second. I forgot what he's doing here. Yeah, we may have to uh, reset him. I don't know. Once in a while, he'll uh, he'll get a worker, and he just stops here. I think uh, he might be. Oh, he's gone from one end to the next. I need to reset the worker. So these workers can get uh, a little bit uh, touchy. And so if everything isn't just right, they will stop. And we got to reset them. I'm not sure why they do that. But they like their payment, so we should get them just work just a little more efficiently. So let's reset him. There we go. Get this worker going again. Now I see he's digging down in there. Yeah, basically when that flips over, the reason it does it, it's the different direction that you're plowing, the way it throws the dirt. When it flips it over the other way, it'll flip it to the left, and the other way will flip it to the right. So that way, you don't have to go to the other end of the field. Pretty handy. They got some pretty slick stuff anymore. All right, uh oh. Alright, we ran into an issue here. We've gotten our slurry tank down into the water. Boy, I don't hope we didn't uh, ruin our tractor. I don't think so. Look how high the tractor sets. As things happen, working away there and uh, had a worker did this see it's sometimes a worker will I don't know see they left why they're not he's there who is it that's me oh my god you know what I did I forgot to shut the machine off and jumped out of the tractor oh my gosh look at this That's all my own fault. Look at that. I wanted to blame a worker. Don't you always want to blame someone else? Well, let's, uh, let's go over here and see if we can, uh, there we go. Oh, let's see. I pulled right out. No issues. I'm right up out of there. Let's go ahead and uh, get this set up there, hire a worker. All right, well, let's get it turned around. started in there. Now, remember I just jumped out of that, uh, I was fertilizing that next field over. You see me sitting over there. I guess I'm okay. Alright, 
we got the, this worker all set up. That's why I'm trying to look over and see if I can see the castle. Now, when I said I own this whole area, I don't own the castle. Uh, you can't own that. Alright, let's uh, jump out. Let's just take a little walk right across the water, get back in here. And, that that looked refreshing. Okay guys, we're going to get out of the uh, Purbeck Valley farm for today. I want to show you a little bit about plowing, a little bit around the farm and uh, the procedures you go through plowing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Purbeck Valley farm is a, just a really neat farm. It's an actual location in England and we quite enjoy doing all the farming over here. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. If you're not a uh, subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. We do all kinds of videos, all kinds of different videos. We do some of the farming videos, and uh, uh, we also do some live chats twice a week, once on uh, Monday evening at 6 p.m., and once on Thursday morning at 8 a.m., so join us sometime. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys the next time. Have a happy farming day. All right, if you want to see how to get some of our other links, when you go to our main YouTube page, up here in the, the picture area right here, you'll see it says like Facebook. You can click on that. That'll take you right over to our Facebook group. And you're welcome. You can join the Facebook group, uh, add your videos, add uh, whatever you meant, do some discussion there, but you can go there. If you would like to uh, support us on the Amazon, Again, up in this picture, you'll see a uh, link that says Amazon. Click on that link right there. Go ahead and sign in. Make all your purchases. And uh, what will happen here, you'll give us a tip. It uh, We get a small percentage back. Costs you absolutely nothing. Uh, but it does help us out, and we appreciate that. But I'd just show you a few little links here if you want to uh, uh, go to some of the other features we have here at Lucky Dog Productions.